the easiest way to add three vectors when you're given magnitudes and directions is to put them all in Cartesian form and then add them up. Even if we want to get to the end where we'd like to express it in terms of magnitude and direction, it's going to be easier to add them first in Cartesian component form. So let's write them down like that. A is its magnitude times cosine 75i plus its magnitude times sine 75j. That comes from this triangle where you have some angle theta. The magnitude is the hypotenuse. The x component, as long as theta is measured away from the x-axis, is going to be that magnitude times cosine theta. The y part is going to be that magnitude times sine theta. That only works as long as theta is measured from the positive x-axis, but in this case it certainly is. Our b vector is also measured from the positive x-axis. So we can say that it is equal to its magnitude, which is also 30, times cosine 45 i, plus its magnitude times sine 45 j. And just the same way, c is 30 cosine 15 i plus 30 sine 15 j. To add up three vectors that are all in Cartesian component form, add the i's, add the j's. So a plus b plus c is equal to 30 cosine 75 plus 30 cosine 45 plus 30 cosine 15 in the i direction and the same thing in the j direction. You can plug all of that into your calculator to show that the resultant a plus b plus c is 57.956 i plus 57.956j. This is the resultant in the x direction and the i and the resultant in the y direction j. That's part of what we were looking for. Express r, the resultant, in Cartesian component form. We can put it in three sig figs and units. 58.0i plus 58 point zero j pounds. That's part of what we were looking for. The other part of what we're looking for is to express r in magnitude and direction. To find the magnitude of r, use the Pythagorean theorem. r looks like 57.956i and 57.956j. This is your magnitude of r. So the magnitude of r is the square root of 57.956 squared plus 57.956 squared, which is equal to 81.962 pounds. To find the direction, we were asked for the magnitude and the direction. Let's let this be theta. We want to find theta. Well, the tangent of theta is going to be 57.956, or ry over 57.956, or Rx, whatever it is. Well, in this case, those are both equal to 1, so theta has to be 45 degrees. Answer your question. Use three sig figs and units. R is 82.0 pounds, and theta is 45.0 degrees.